Hi, I hope you really enjoyed the the video of Good Good Father, and I hope it prepared your heart for a time of worship together this morning. Uh, my message today is be good. And God has called us to be good. This week, I read a uh, quote from Max Lucado, and it says, to call yourself a child of God is one thing. To be called a child of God by those who watch your life is another thing altogether. Now, we live in a world, especially now, where there's a lot of stress, and there are a lot of challenges, and at times there are a lot of um, opportunities to present ourselves as a kind and peaceful people. But we get caught up into the stress of everyday life. And this, the, the enemy just loves to get us stirred up and to get us angry and frustrated. And admittedly, at times, I succumb to that. And we really need to be aware of our responsibilities as followers of Jesus Christ to be good to be holy as he is holy. Now, 1 Peter 1, verses 15 and 16 say, But just as he who called you is holy, so be holy in all you do. For it is written, Be holy because I am holy. Well, what is holy? I think most of us understand that it's endeavoring to be the best person that you can be. It's to be kind and compassionate and caring and loving, even when we don't feel like it. I mean, I'm so glad that I'm not God, because if I was God, I probably would have obliterated this earth a long time ago. Uh, Jan can have a trigger temper, and um, that's not something about myself that I am proud of, and really working hard to conquer that. But we need to be holy in our response, in our reactions, in the ways that we deal and we carry out our lives. God has called us to that. Hebrews 12, 14, 12 verses, verse 14, sorry. Make every effort to live in peace with everyone and to be holy. Without holiness, no one will see the Lord. See, people are looking at you. They are looking at me. They're trying to see, is this really real? And I found, especially when I was younger, a lot of people would really try to push my buttons and to trigger me to get angry and frustrated um, because they wanted to see if what I talked about was real. And God taught me that in a very powerful way that... Um, to endeavor to be like Jesus is a testimony to others. Now, are you going to have times where you fail? Yes. But the greatest opportunity in failure is when you're down to pick yourself up and dust yourself off and try again. We live currently in a world that is filled with all kinds of stress and strain, especially going through this coronavirus and all of the other challenges that are going on in the world, that we can become overwhelmed. And because we don't feel emotionally well, we're lonely, uh, we miss our families, we miss the interaction with our church families, which I know is a very big deal at Shiloh. We're all missing each other a lot. But we have to realize that God is calling us to more. He is calling you and he is calling me to more. None of this happens uh, none of these things that have happened have been a surprise to God. He, he knew. He knew you would be in the exact circumstance that you're at right now. He knew that you would be uh, struggling with something. He knows your frustrations. He knows 
that um, it's tempting for us to give in to anger and um, sometimes being rude and um, belligerent and difficult to get along with because we are sad or we are angry. But we need to respond as God would call us to respond, and that is with love and grace and respecting the people that are maybe giving us a hard time even though they may not be worthy of our respect. Because you know something? God loves that person just as much as he loves you. And I spoke about the love of God not too long ago and about how hard it is to grasp his incredible love for us. And he is there to give us strength to endure through any circumstance or situation. Psalm 139, which I read last week, says, uh, verses 23 to 24, says, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. The secret is going to God and giving it to him. I find sometimes that when I'm going into a challenging circumstance, I've learned to pray. Lord, shut my mouth when it needs to be shut. Open it when it needs to be open. And may I speak only words that you give me to speak. It's tough. It's tough because most often we speak when we shouldn't. And we don't speak when we should. Now, I'm not talking about compromising your convictions, but I'm saying that we can still love without agreeing with people. We need to be good because he is good. Philippians 2.5 said, says, in your relationships with one another, have the same mindset as Jesus. Man. So what do we learn from the life of Christ? What did he show us while he was here that might help us in our journey? Well, he showed us to be compassionate and kind with people who don't know better. When did Jesus get angry or frustrated? He got angry and frustrated with the people who knew. The people who knew the scriptures, the people who didn't follow what scripture said. That's when he got frustrated. That's when he got angry. But with the people who didn't know, he was compassionate and loving and kind. I have a video that I want you to watch, and I have shown it at Shallow before. It's called God's Chisel. And I hope you will watch it in its entirety. Because we are God's workmanship. And he is in the business of creating us and calling us to be more like Christ. So this week when you head out, I want to challenge you. In all of your actions and your deeds, am I like Jesus? And if you're not sure, all you have to do is open your Bible and read one of the four Gospels that will tell you all about the life of Christ, about who he was, about the way he interacted with others, and the wisdom of the words that he shared, and the example of the life that he lived. I want to quote to you that quote from Max Lucado one more time. To call yourself a child of God is one thing, to be called a child of God by those who watch your life 
is another thing altogether. So in closing, I want to read to you again Hebrews 12, 14, and this, may this be your challenge for this week. Make every effort to live in peace with everyone and to be holy. Without holiness, one will ever see. Sorry, no one will see the Lord. God bless you. And next week, um, we will have the links posted uh, for everyone to see. Uh, it's a national service with the Free Methodist Church in Canada, and it will be available on our website, on uh, Facebook, and uh, we will send our church family via email the links to that. So may the Lord bless you as you watch this video. Um, be good.